Hello sports fans, welcome to the program and the first episode in the 1950s. We start with the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The 18th Grand Prix of Endurance was won by the French father and son pairing of Louis and Jean-Louis Rosier driving a privately entered Talbot logo. The 11th Amateur World Series took place for the second time in Nicaragua. Venezuela scored a bronze with Dominican Republic scoring silver, and Cuba winning their fifth AWS title, taking the gold. In basketball, in the first World Basketball Championship tournament, Argentina hosted the competition at Luna Park in Buenos Aires, partly because of its neutrality during the Second World War. Prior to the tournament, Uruguay withdrew after Argentina immigration officers refused the team's visas to enter the country. In third place with bronze was Chile. In second place with the silver was the United States. And Argentina claimed the gold medal by beating the United States 64-50 to in the decisive game in the final round. After winning the tournament, Argentinian fans celebrated by burning newspapers, which became as the Night of the Torches. At the British Empire Games, Malaya and Nigeria entered the British Games this year for their first time. New Zealand won 10 gold medals, 12 silver, and 21 bronze, giving them a total of 53 medals, placing them in third place. England won 19 gold medals, 16 silver, and 13 bronze, giving them a total of 48 medals, placing them in second. Australia was placed in first after winning 34 gold, 27 silver, and 19 bronze, with a total of 80 medals. In the 1950 Ice Hockey World Championships, Canada was represented by the Edmonton Mercuries. In fourth place was Great Britain. Switzerland took the bronze. United States took a silver. And Canada won its 13th gold medal. In Five Nations Rugby, Wales won their 11th title and also the Grand Slam and the Triple Crown. In the World Professional Snooker Championship, for the fourth year running, the final was contested by Fred Davis and Walter Donaldson. Donaldson defeated Davis 51-46 to win his second and last world title. Donaldson achieved a winning margin of 49-42 with only six frames to play. In FIFA World Cup, the 1950 FIFA World Cup was held in Brazil from the 24th of June to the 16th of July. Italy, the two-time defending champions, were eliminated in the first round for the first time in history. Group 1 consisted of Yugoslavia, Switzerland, Mexico, and Brazil, with Brazil advancing to the final round. In Group 2, uh, Group 2 consisted of the United States, Chile, England, and Spain, with Spain advancing to the finals. Group 3 consisted of Paraguay, Italy, and Sweden, with Sweden making it to the finals. Group 4 had only Bolivia and Uruguay. France had withdrawn before playing and left Uruguay to advance to the finals. Brazil, Spain, Sweden, and Uruguay made it to the World Cup Finals for 1950. In the first match, Uruguay drew against Spain. Brazil beat Sweden 7-1. Brazil beat Spain 6-1, then Uruguay beat Sweden 3-2, and then Sweden beat Spain 3-1. With Uruguay having two wins and Brazil having the same, they met for the final match. With 173,850 people in attendance in Rio de Janeiro, Uruguay won the match defeating Brazil 2-1 to win the 1950 FIFA World Cup. In the Davis Cup, 22 teams entered the Europe zone and 4 entered the American zone. Australia was once again placed in the wrong zone and defeated Mexico 4-1 to win the America zone finals. Sweden beat Denmark in the Europe zone finals 4-0. Then Australia beat Sweden in the interzonal final 3-2. And in the challenge round, the defending champions, the United States, lost to Australia 4-1. At the Whitman Cup, 
The 1950 Whitman Cup ended with the United States women's tennis team utterly destroying the British gals 7-0. This completes the program. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.